Hey guys, so um, this is just a video. Um, I was going to make a video yesterday of when I was actually um, doing my eighth injection. Um, but it was hard to try to hold the camera and I was in a hurry and I didn't want to make things, you know, slower than necessary. Um, oh, that is my adorable, cute little girl um, there in the background. Um, anyway, so I just wanted to show you real quick, um, for anybody that's unfamiliar with how the testosterone injections work, because I think it sounds really scary. Um, this is a, uh, Sharps container that I bought from, I believe either CVS or Walgreens. And, um, it actually came with a box, which I saved that I can put this into and I can actually mail it off to a place, um, once it's full. Um, I think there's other ways you can get rid of it though, but, um, I could have, um, used, uh, like a, a laundry detergent, um, container. A lot of, um, plastic containers are approved, um, methods for, um, keeping sharps. Um, so you don't actually have to have any expense in buying an actual container, but when I started, my testosterone shots, I didn't have anything readily available and figured I would just go with an actual container because it will take a while, as you can kind of see the stuff in there, um, for, you know, it to be full. So I, I have, a, you know, quite a bit of use, I feel, out of this. And it wasn't relatively all that expensive. I don't remember. Um, but it wasn't outrageous. Okay, so that's that. Um, this was a dollar store find. It's a little toolbox or so they say. I mean, I don't know who would actually put heavy duty tools in this or anything, but it was kind of cute. And I mean, I guess you could put a little lock on it if you so felt inclined. Um, so inside, um, I have alcohol prep pads. Um, I use two at a time. So, you know, this is a good, good, uh, set up here. I think these were a little, I don't think they were that expensive, but of course at CVS, you know, you're probably going to pay a little more than if you went to Walmart or maybe even the dollar store or something. Um, but anyway, uh, they come like this, you know, so there, there's actually two per, you know, thing. So, um, I use one for sterilizing the testosterone container, like the, the top of it. And then the other one I use to, um, rub on the area that I am going to inject into. And then I, um, also use it for any blood that might, um, happen after the injection, which isn't normally all that bad, but sometimes there's a little bit. Um, so that's that. That's fairly straightforward. Let me get to the good stuff. Um, the actual, um, testosterone, um, supernate. Uh, this is what I'm using anyway. Everybody has something different. This is a, um, 200 milligram, milligrams, um, per milliliter. I use, uh, 0 0.2 milliliters. Um, so I can quickly show you the little, what it looks like because people seem to not know. I'm sorry. It's kind of hard to show off. Okay. So this is the little, the little bottle. Um, so I'm sorry if this is a little blurry for some reason, but anyway, um, there we go. There it is. It says for intramuscular use only. That's what IM stands for, but I'm actually using it for sub Q. The doctor says it's completely fine. So the needle, um, you know, would go in this gray cushiony area. That's where it's drawn up from. It doesn't look like there's much in here, but there's, there's still enough for a little long, while longer. I think I'll be getting my third bottle soon. So this cost me about, um, $10, I think, uh, for, for one bottle, which is for a month's supply. Um, that's relatively inexpensive. Uh, I mean, it does add up. I, I will say that. Um, the, um, Hannaford, uh, Healthy Saver, um, does not, that's not covered under that. Actually, my insurance covers I think a portion of it. I think the ten dollars is my copay, but um, the insurance will not cover 
which is so silly because you need the needles and syringes, but they don't cover those. So they actually, um, the health, Hannaford Healthy Saver, it cost me, I believe it was $10 for these and $10 for these. Um, so I think it was about $30 a month right now that I'm paying, but no, I'm sorry. It's $10 a month for the, um, testosterone and then these were actually for like three months supply. Um, I think they were about $10 for each. So, um, these actually lasted longer than a month. So yeah, I don't know. I, I got quite a few. Anyway, um, so these are, um, the syringes and needles that, um, are used to inject with. So essentially what happens, I call these like a string cheese packet because they like open, they would like peel down. Um, so I would open one of these babies up and, um, open it up to about here and I would twist this off so that I just have the syringe part. And then I would go, um, over here, uh, to one of my um, needles. These are one of the drawing up needles. So I would place one of these on to the syringe and then I would draw up from the testosterone um, to the correct amount and then I would take this off and put it into the sharp container and then I would put the syringe back onto here and pull this out and then um, I would pinch my belly fat um, and then I would insert this into the area that I've got pinched and I've wiped it with an alcohol swab and I'm going to place it in and push the plunger and I'm going to kind of just count or wait for a reasonable amount of time to make sure that everything has gone in because it's very thick stuff, you don't want it to leak out or whatnot so it's better to be safe than sorry. And then I gently pull it out and if there's any blood I just use the alcohol swab to, to get that under control. Place all of this into the um, sharps container as well and then I'm good to go with my day. So that's just kind of um, a little overview on how the testosterone stuff goes. Maybe sometime if I'm brave I will have somebody uh, tape me while I um, inject my next uh, dose. Anyway, it's every Monday right now. Um, so that is that. Alright guys, thanks.